hello students welcome back to the third video of this playlist so in this video i will be solving question number three from statistics one may 2023 paper so uh let's see what's the question number three from uh this paper is about so basically uh the concepts behind this question that is question number three it's from it's combinedly from chapter number two that is measure of spread and location specifically from that uh, chapter you will be uh, like you will need the concepts of finding mean uh, median variance like th these stuffs and then also you will you'll need uh, concepts from the next chapter that is chapter number three which is a uh, representation of data like you can see a box plot given here so we need to deal with what box plots so let's get started with uh, question number three so jim records the length l millimeter of 81 salmon okay the data are coded using x equals l minus 600 and the following summary statistics are obtained so the following uh, summary statistics are obtained where the value for n is 81 sum of x is given as 3711 and sum of x squared is given as 475181 fine okay now part a asks to find the mean length of these salmon we need to find out the mean length of these salmon okay so uh, the summary statistics here these are given for x that is the coded data okay no problem basically we will be finding the coded mean at first the mean for the coded data that is x bar let's find out for part a we will be finding x bar so x bar would be what sum of x over n which is 3711 3711 over what 81 so that would give you so 3711 over 81 uh, this is basically take take the exact value so 1237 1237 over what 27 so this is the coded mean now we need the mean length isn't it so we can write what x bar right so x bar equals to l bar minus 600 right this is what we have learned from chapter 2 coding part so l bar would be what x bar plus 600 that means what 1237 over 27 plus what plus 600 so what would be the value you will be getting here so this is basically 17,437 over what 27 so the mean length is basically in decimal value to three significant figures this is 6 46 millimeters okay up to three significant figures okay so we got 646 millimeter as the mean length for the what 81 salmons that's it next is part b in part b they are asking to find the variance of the lengths of these salmon we need to find out the variance okay so for finding the variance let's uh, find the variance of the coded data like as what we did for mean okay so let's find the variance for the what coded data so for the coded data the variance would be what the variance of x right for part b we will be finding variance of x at first so variance of x equals to how much sum of x squared the, the formula for variance is sum of x squared over n minus the mean squared right so the value for the sum of x squared it is given as 475,181 okay 475,181 
1 minus the mean. What was the mean? Take the exact value for the mean, which was uh, mean of x, that is 1237 over 27. 1237, 1237 over 27 whole squared. So, what would be the value? Uh, 1237 over 27 whole squared. It has to be subtracted from 475,181. So, you will get 47, 473,000. Okay, sum of x squared over n. I didn't divide it by 81. So, 1237 over 27 whole squared. Then what? 475,181 over 81 minus the answer. So, you will get 3767, 3767.434, four, the exact value, 434842. Four, this is basically the, basically the variance of x. So, x is basically written as what? L minus 600, isn't it? So, L minus 600. So, since it's a linear coding, so variance of, variance of L minus 600, is basically equal to the variance of L because in linear coding for addition or subtraction the variance is not getting affected so the value for the variance would be 3767 seven, right so we can what uh, since the number of decimal places they didn't mention here we will round it up to what three significant figures so that would give you 376 three seven uh six seven so this is this will be three seven seven zero this is the variance of what the length of the of these salmon okay so next is part c in part c they says the weight w grams of each of the 81 salmon is recorded to the nearest gram the recorded results for the 81 salmon are summarized in the box plot below we can see a box plot here so uh, weight of salmon is shown on the x axis so part c asks to find the maximum number of salmon that have weights in the interval 4600 w greater than 4600 less than or equal 7700 okay so we need to find out the maximum number of salmon okay let's have a look on the box plot 4600 where is this 4600 this is exactly at the median right so above the median how many data values are there since it is 81 right the data value is what 81 so if you consider the median median would be what n equals to median would be basically uh, the 81 over 2 the that is basically a 40.5 this is basically the 41st since it is odd so we always round up that's what we learned in chapter 2 right 41st data so 41st data would be the what median so here the total data here that has been shown here it is what for 81 salmon okay so the median is basically the 41st data value so 41st data value it is what they said only only greater than that means the 41st data value it's it lies outside this range right that means we need to ignore 41st so above 41st data how many data values are there total 40 right so that means the answer for part c would be what exactly 40 for part c the answer would be what exactly 40 since there are exactly 40 data values above the median and that's the answer for part c okay next is part d for part d they are asking okay before the question they said something let's see raj says that the box plot is incorrect as jim has not included outliers 
that's true we can see there's no outlets in the box plot but we know that a box plot is used to represent what uh, range the quartiles median and also outliers isn't it okay so for this data an outlier is defined as a value that is more than 1.5 times IQR above the upper quartile or 1.5 times IQR below the lower quartile okay so part D asks to show that there are no outliers okay we need to show that there are no outliers okay so for finding outliers what we need we need at first the what IQR because we need to find out the limits for finding the limits we need the interquartile range so let's find out the IQR so interquartile range is what the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile that is Q3 minus Q1 so the value for IQR for part D we need the value for the IQR so IQR is what Q3 minus Q1 that is what here the value for Q3 it's basically uh, 5400 right this is 5400 exactly 5400 minus uh, what the lower quartile is basically uh, 3800 so 5400 minus 3800 so that would give you exactly 1600 right okay so we got the IQ that is 1600 now upper range or upper limit for outliers this is what Q3 there, there is Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR right so Q3 is what 5400 plus 1.5 times 1600 okay so that would give you 1.5 times 1600 uh, plus 5400 so this is basically 7800 okay this is 7800 grams right okay so above 7800 are there any values 7800 is basically this one right so you can see that there are no values the upper range is what so upper range is less than the upper range so upper range is what upper range is upper range is 7700 which is what less than 7800 okay so in the like like in the upper limit there are no quartiles now consider the lower limit okay for the lower limit same process this is q1 q1 is basically what 3800 minus 1.5 times 16 100 so this is basically 3800 minus 2400 that would give you uh, 1200 okay so let's have a look the lower range is how much the lower range is uh, 5 this is basically oh, what I wrote here I think I wrote it uh, 3800 minus 1200 okay the lower limit was 3800 right 3800 yeah so 3800 this is 3800 minus uh, 2400 so that would give you what 1200 so below 1200 are there any values 1000 this is uh, 5 6 7 8 this is 8000 we got 8000 here so we can see that what it is it is basically the lower range is what uh, 1000 uh, this is 5 1500 this is 1500 and this is 1600 so lower range is 1600 and we got the what lower limit for outlier it is what lower limit is basically 3800 minus 2400 that would give you 1400 not 1200 so 1400 and the lower range is 
lower range is how much we got uh, it was 1,600. So 1,600 it's what? Greater than 1,400. 1,600 which is greater than 1,400. So hence what? No outliers because the ranges we got here upper range and the lower range are basically within the limit for outliers. So hence what? No outliers in the data makes sense so this is the end of part d and that's all about question number three from may 2023 statistics one paper